In this lecture, we are going to continue with rigid element. Earlier, we have discussed different applications of the RB element. For example, we can use it for the load transfer. We can use for the creating constraint. We can we can also use for joining the bodies, and we can use for creating the bolt connection. For example, let's say we have a rod like this, and we want to apply a force of this value onto this body. One way is that we can distribute the force on each node one by one means we count the number of node and then we divide the force by this value and apply the force but in hyper mesh another better way is creating a rb2 element means we create rb2 element onto this face and then we apply the complete force onto this single node because of this this complete force will be equally divided to each node similarly here you can see we have a uh, circular structure or we can say we have any wheel so we know that wheel is mounted or fixed with respect to this axis you can see an axle is connected here like this so to create the boundary condition for this wheel you can see right now we don't have any structure because this is the geometry and we do not do the meshing of rims because rims are not important for us during the analysis of wheel so in this case rather than creating the mesh of the wheel a simplified way is we connect the center of the wheel or where the axle is passing through an rb2 element this is the rb2 element and then we can apply the boundary condition onto this node okay so now let's go to hyper mesh and understand how to create the rigid element so when you go to the 1D option and you will go to rigid element here you can see some options create update and combine here we have independent node and we have dependent node in this independent we have some option like select node or calculate node and in this dependent first option is single node or multiple node and again in the second arrow we have some options then we need to define the boundary condition for this most of the time we make a check on everything and we define the boundary condition separately okay now let's go to your project file in the rigid folder let's say i want to open the file first one that, that is the wheel okay so in this wheel i want to create the rigid element to create the rigid element first of all we need to create a separate collector we can only create the rigid element on the meshing so make sure that the part is meshed so make a right click here create give it name like this is rigid element here so always rigid element should be created in the separate collector it should not be mixed with any other meshing so give it some different color let's say i will give it this yellow color now to create a rigid i will go to 1d rigid here you will see create okay so first of all we need to select anything for the independent node now for the independent we have option select node or calculate node select node means whenever we already have a predefined independent node but right now you can see we don't have any specified node so i will select calculate node it means the software will automatically calculate the appropriate independent node so we know that the wheel is connected from the center to the axle using this inner part of the circle so here we need to select the node so we can select single or multiple right now we have multiple node so i will select multiple here now we can select the node faces multiple option of selecting i will go to faces here and let's say i will select this face you can see all the nodes are highlighting you can also change the face angle if the nodes are not selected properly for example let's say i will make it 10 click on reset you can see when I take the smaller value, only some part of the face are selected. When I try to increase this, let's say this is 25, you can see complete face is selected. So that is the significant of this face angle. I will click on create. Click on return. Here you will see, if I zoom in here, make sure these options are checked here. Here, it will show that this is RB2 element. You can see this RB2 element is connected at the center. 
okay if i press on shift plus f2 try to make a node here add you can see a node will be created at the center now we can apply any boundary condition to this node only and that boundary condition will automatically will be distributed to this complete attached node click on return i will delete this select delete i will delete the element here you can see this is a complete single element delete this another way is we can also go to this element we can select the select node here let's say we are predefined independent node so i can select this node then i can go to the faces here select the face and create okay so i will delete it once again so similarly let's say i will open up one more file here i will open up the file that is called the rod yes so i will hide all the bodies i will just isolate only the mesh and let's say i want to apply any force onto this face so to do this we can create a rigid body here i will make a right click rigid make it rigid here okay then go to the rb and then go to rigid element here and here go to create okay now i can select any node if we have here or we can select calculate node another way is i can go to this node i can select the node here click on by face create now i can hide the mesh here you can see now i can apply the force on to this single node only one more thing is let's say i will go to rigid once again click on review now select this rb element when i zoom in here you can see at the single node it is going to show it is showing d then some id d means dependent and degree of freedom 1 2 3 4 5 6 it means everything is checked here and when i zoom out you can see okay these are outside nodes are de dependent and this is independent it is showing id and these nodes are showing dependent and these are all the node id so let's say i will turn on the mesh once again let's say i want to update the rigid element to update it go to rigid here go to update first of all click on element and select this element now let's say i want to change degree of freedom connectivity switch or anything let's say i want to change the connectivity connectivity means the node to which it is connected select the connectivity here here let's say i will select this node now you can see all the nodes to which this element is connected is showing let's say i want to deselect this so make a right click here once again this nodes okay i want to update i want to detach it from all the outside node here let's say one by one select them click on update now you can see you can directly update the rigid element from this command okay so in a similar way we can also create the rb3 element so i will hide this rigid here let's say i will select some another face go to rb3 so in this rb3 we have a weightage factor that is that means the amount of distribution or we can say scale factor of the value and rest of the things are same you can see create node or the calculate node here we can select the by face so select this face here create now this will be an rb3 so both rb2 and rb3 should be kept in separate collector not in a single collector return so in this way we can create the rb2 and rb3 element